Hi. Please sure. So my name is Nilesh Palkar. I am co-founder and CTO of company named Nextcube. So we are based out of Nasik, but we are incubated by ISC Bangalore Art Park. Uh, so what we are trying to do as a solution here is, uh, so if you have seen any drone applications, right? Every drone needs a pilot on field. And what we this creates a great scalability issue for drone service provider. So for example, if you are a drone service provider, and if you want to operate a flight at a multiple locations spread around the country, so you need this 300, 400 pilots on field, right? Yes. So we are solving for that issue. So this is a on field drone docking station, which is as a, uh, which is like a drone pilot for the drone which is on field. So right now we have one docking station live from Nasik which is like 1100 kilometers from here and we can take a control of a drone and we can fly a drone that is based in Nasik. So this solve for the scalability issue of a drone service provider. So at the same point, one pilot or two pilots sitting in an office space in Bangalore can operate a drone placed anywhere in the country and that solves for the scalability issue. So you can get the data on the cloud in like minutes and uh, even uh, after that, no, nobody needs to monitor this flight. So just like you schedule an email, you can schedule this drone flight. For example, you are a mining supervisor and you want to observe how much stockpile you do have, how much uh, security and everything also includes in it. So for example, uh, you schedule a flight for 9 a.m. tomorrow. So exactly at 9 a.m. tomorrow, this docking station would open. The drone will fly. It will collect all the data points. It will compile a report for the stockpile for you. And it will give you the data by 9.15. In just 15 minutes, you, ha you have the data on the table to take the decision like how much workforce do you require? How much digging has happened? How much security, uh, if there is any security threat, if your assets are in place and everything like that. So uh, we are basically an autonomous drone docking station, station company building a next gen of drone and changing the way, uh, changing the complete way how the drones are handled right now and we are building it for the future for the scalability of drones for India. So now we have this drone docking station live from Nasik which is about 1100 kilometers from here and it's just few, in just few steps we can fly this drone on a pre-planned mission. So I'll just walk you through the demo. So in first step, we have to launch a drone, then select a mission and then just say start. Now we are choosing, these are all predefined missions. Now we are selecting one of the missions. So this is the place where the docking station is kept right now. And now I'm like processing further it. So now we'll see in a second, the docking station would open to allow the drone to fly through the docking station. Right now that docking station is opening. Right, right now that, yeah, yes, that docking station is opening right now. And this is, this is directly live feed coming from that docking station. So now uh, it requires a 60 seconds of time to be able to analyze all the data from the drone so that all the hardware inside the drone is in a good health condition to be able to fry. Along with that, all the visual inspections are done, like all the propeller damages, all the body damages are assessed. And if there is something wrong with the drone, we'll get a checklist or a warning error saying that this is something wrong with the drone. Otherwise, we would just select a checklist, just manually validate the checklist one and then execute a mission. So in a few seconds, we'll see like this routine will complete it. Now all of this is happening at the background. Now the routine is completed and everything is fine. Right now it's successful. So it it's successful. To... It's so ready to fly. If it finds any hardware issues, it will stop the flight. Right. And we'll get a pop-up error warning here. So now I'm just moving on to the next step. Now this is the manual validation that every pilot needs to do. So now I'm manually validating all of these checkpoints. And this is the final step where I execute the mission. Right. So once I executed the mission, on the corner, you can see the propellers will engage and the drone would take off. So now it's uh, engaging the propellers basically. So you'll see the propellers got engaged and now the drone took off. Now we can see all the live feed coming from Nasik right at this place. And similarly, you can operate like 100 of this docking station placed anywhere in the country from one single location. Like this is for a private resort, right? This is so now. We don't need any government permission for. Food. So this is completely green zone. Okay. Uh, the complete airspace is divided into three zones: a red zone, yellow zone, and the uh, green zone. If you are flying in a uh, green zone, you don't require any government permissions as of as of now. 
but if you want to fly in a red zone or a yellow zone you need exemptions to operate on these these zones so currently what we are targeting is the customers who are uh, in the outskirts in the green zone only and uh, very remote places where op- like sending a pilot is kind of a difficult so there we are placing our systems and mapping the entire things is basically so now on the map you can see where the drone is exactly so it is on the last waypoint right now now it will come back to the docking station automatically and we don't need to do anything manually so now it enter post down if there is any issue from here this side the drone this will automatically drone will automatically come down okay. once you click the launch button you don't require a internet connectivity okay. only for seeing all the stuff you required in the internet connectivity but less the internet goes down then at that side all the communication happens through radio frequencies so you don't need internet on the other hand means so the drone communicates with the docking station drone communicates with the docking station so the docking station it's kind of a smart pilot for that particular drone and it uh, does communicate all the time with the drone assess the conditions and take decisions for the drone So right now, we're pitching only the docking station or the drone also. So uh, we are a drone agnostic company. We do not manufacture drone by ourselves, but we do partner with lot of other drone manufacturers. Have our own drones also. We can use. We can drone. use the solution. So we can use the solution. We can integrate with any solution because like all the different drones have a different applications, and we can't build for every application. So we are partnering with the companies who already have built for this application. to optimize the entire thing you can use our platform the software and the hardware part of it is okay sir thank, thank you so much thank you so much